Well, would you look at that? We're back with Dungeons and Dragons, specifically the Theros campaign. Um, hi, it's been a long time since we did one of these, but we're, we're using Roll20 now, which is really, really cool. Um, I uh, just kind of wanted to be like, hey, because this is a very transitional session, because Michaela's no longer playing with us, and I built a lot of the lore around her character. Uh, and we are doing kind of like a soft reset without ditching anything that happened in the last two sessions. Uh, so if you happen to have watched those, they're still important. They're still canon. They still, they still matter. Um, so everything that has happened in the previous two sessions, if you ended up watching them, is still canon. If you haven't, you should. They were good. Uh, this... I won't, I'll be very upfront. I'm learning Roll20, and it's a transitional session. Very fun, and has a lot of good moments in it. Uh, but the story itself is probably going to end up really picking up in the next session, just because this one's kind of going from what we had to what we have, uh, which is fine. you got to have it. Uh, so I, I really, really am excited to be DMing Theros. I want to do at least one a month one every six weeks give or take depending on because we have three each of us run a campaign george has the star wars campaign i have the theros campaign and dimitri has what we call our main campaign we only call it that because that's it's what we've been playing the longest uh and it's the one i would want to play the most if i had to choose between the three uh but we are back in theros we are back with with all the fun and hijinks, Dimitri and George playing as Silval and Donvale, and Uvaris Ironskin. So welcome back to Theros. So, you've been sitting in jail. How do I get rid of your die? There we go. Been sitting in jail for a couple of hours. It has not been a year and a half. Should it be a year and a half? <laughs> it won't be a year and a half. <laughs> oh, George, I almost saw you for a second. It's using it's using things that it thinks are webcams. Okay. Yeah, if I turn my webcam on, it should go to like XSplit. Yeah. It says XSplit. So, you have been in prison. For several hours. I don't remember describing the prison. Um, but I will re-describe the prison. And maybe I will craft a new prison. Uh, small, tiny retcons. I don't like doing them. But for new purposes, I kind of have to. Uh, the only thing I'm going to say. And I'm going to leave it a little vague. Just until we get to a certain point. So I don't contradict myself. Um. No one can see each other, right? No one can Correct. see each other. So. You're all in cells, and they're kind of private. And so it's like cell, 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 and then like in between each cell is a bunch of brick. You know what I mean? So you can't like reach yeah. in and, and and do thumb wars and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Which was disappointing because I kept asking Ovaris, and he told me no. Uh, I don't remember Cal's personality very much, so I'm just gonna whip it up. I'm sorry for the He's very stupid. loyal people who just have rewatched the first two to get to this one. So I think the in it, for my quick quick rewatch, um, Amal went in and found a pouch with a bunch of personal stuff in it that had Cal stitched on the outside, <laughs> right. and I think his one line, I think his one line from the end of the episode was he pointed and said, "Hey, that's mine." <laughs> uh, so do it. Yeah, he was just dumb. I remember that. He's doing his best. So, after all this time, you are now faced with what to do. You have been put in a jail cell. Uh, you've been given no direction. Uvaris, alone in a cell. Bloodfang, alone in a cell. And Syl, not alone. You've got Cal, who has been I do doing have Cal. one of these. 
I have room to do performances. Where he's like, he's got his back to you. Mm. And every so often, he... <laughs> but he'll keep looking at you mm -hmm. until you notice him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he'll be like, I noticed him about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> uh, so every time you, he'll look, he'll keep looking at you like that until you lock eyes with him. And then the moment mm -hmm. you do, he turns around like he's not there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what could you possibly have up your sleeve? Okay, I, I really thought you were like coming for us with that. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like I have done nothing. <laughs> I can see your looks through the camera. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I did. Okay, fine. I'll put it back. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at him, uh -huh. and I'm gonna say, Cal. Huh? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why do you keep looking at me? I'm not. Then don't. And I, I walk over, I put a hand on his shoulder, huh. and I just say, don't. Are you attempting to get him to stop by making him scared of you? A la intimidation? I am very politely trying to threaten him. So, um, oh, pick persuasion I can, or intimidation, I can, whichever you'd like. Um, my persuasion's better, but intimidation does feel more at the heart of the part of the point. <laughs> Whoa! Twenty-four. I love we the die. Take the die makes this great. Yeah. Okay. He, like, you have your hand on his shoulder, and mm -hmm. you like just don't, and he like. And stares mm -hmm. forward at the wall. Okay. And now with my hand still on his shoulder, I'm going to tighten my grip just a bit. Just a little. And I'm going to say, Hal, do you understand that you are the bad guy here? That's good. I'm the bad That's guy. very good. I'm the bad guy. Now, if you want to be a good guy, and I know you do, Cal. You seem very nice. I know you want to be a good guy. Yeah. Can you help me convince Amal that my friends and I are innocent? Innocent of what? Kidnapping anyone that... You know, you seem to get your hands on, Cal. You... And he kind of like... Were you say who to help us? Uh, can I give insight if by us he means the kidnappers, or are they kidnapping people against their will? Go for it. Can I do insight to figure out what exactly he means? Does he know the difference? Decent 16. It seems like the way he perked up, he is under the impression you were sent here to help us kidnap others. Spe okay. Specifically. I'll say. Can I go ahead? How we are reshuffling our plans a bit. What? Why? I was not told exactly what you all were doing here, just that it needed to stop. It needs to stop? Yes. Oh. How come? 
That is privileged information, Kyle. I'm sure you understand why I can't tell you that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm sorry for overstepping. It's okay. It's okay. I know you're doing your best. I'm trying. I know you're trying. I'm trying. Cal, do you know why you're doing everything here? I'm supposed to. Why are you supposed to? Well, we gotta. Cal, I'm gonna need you to do a little, little more thinking than that one. Just a little. Why do you have to? <laughs> and oh, I, again, I'm going to tighten my grip just a little bit. You're making him think more than ten minutes, uh, like, forward or backwards. We're getting into yeah. uncharted territory. He's like, uh, well, you see, we need a lot of people to make all the magic happen. Did they ever tell you what kind of magic specifically? They told me Or is that was... is that as far as it went? They told me that it was gonna be so grand. Who told you that, Cal? Was it Salehandra? Was it someone else? Well, I was mean, it your buddy Morkin? Morkin Morkin's helpful, but he doesn't like to you know. Get the hands dirty. And I thought you were going to say talk to you, Cal. He doesn't like to talk to you. <laughs> no one talks to Cal! I know, Cal. That's why I'm here, buddy. I'm trying to help you. And he holds up his, admittedly, <laughs> filthy hands. And he's <laughs> like, they just want me to get my hands dirty. And you're good at that, Cal. You're really good. That's why they keep you around. But... When Amal gets back, I need you to tell her what you've been doing and leave us out of it. Can you do that for me, Cal? I mean, I could try. It's a lot to remember. That's okay, buddy. And I'm just going to give him, I'm going to loosen my grip, give him a gentle pat. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to go sit over here. Because I have a headache. <laughs> now, you just sit here and try to think about it, okay? I'll try. I'm going to go over a lot so I don't let you down. That's okay. Just remember, we are not involved in this. Not involved. Not even a little one bit. Thing you remember, not even a little. Okay, Cal. Goodbye. Goodbye. And then I just turn and walk away. <laughs> I have a headache. Unrelated. <laughs> Unrelated. It's not your fault, Cal. So. He said, like a liar. I'm allergic to idiots. Um, a little bit more time goes by, and the door to the prison opens. Uh. It is not a mall. It is a small, shrimpy-looking man. Dressed would you armor. describe him as squirrely? I would say he's squirrely. Yeah. Um, he's uh, he works his way over to the cell containing uh, Ovaris, uh, and he like chink clink clink clink, and he like opens the door. And uh, he looks at Uvaris, who is a head and a half taller than him, at least. At, got at least 260 pounds on him. His armor is a size and a half too big. It's He's swimming in it. Uh, his helmet is kind of doing like one of these. To where like, you know, it's just, just, it's, it's just at the point where he can see. And he like holds up this pair of like slightly rusted handcuffs. And he's like... Come on now, you know you know the drill. Gonna stare at him. I do. It's like, give me give, give me your, give me your hands. Uh, I'm just going to look at him. 
Yes. Y your hands. Y your hands. Yeah. You don't gotta make this hard, big guy. I will offer my hands to be shackled. He shackles them. And he goes, that's good, that's good. We, uh... We wouldn't want to upset... Bigger guy. Oh, no. <laughs> and, uh, he kind of... There is no bigger guy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I knew... I knew seven days ago that I knew I was going to drop the bigger guy thing, right? <laughs> and I knew bigger George would, would immediately hit me with, there is no guy larger than myself, <laughs> or there is no guy big enough to intimidate me. Something like that. Big, oh. is, big is relative. <laughs> he will still bleed. <laughs> so... He leads you out. Oh, I'm gonna move your token. By the way, you haven't you have charge of your 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 token. Um, he brings you. Oh, not you. I was making sure that it still worked. He leads you hey. over. Excuse. Hang on. Do I? I, I remember the. I remember. This is coming out of here. George, he's taking you to see Biff the Bailiff. Biff, the Bailiff. Yeah, Biff's in charge. Biff is in charge. Ain't he also the mayor? He's the bailiff. It's like... Mayor McBailiff. Mayor McBailiff. He's kind of like a step below a mayor. I remember that being a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Uh, and he... Uh, this squirrely shackles guy... Uh, works. Squirrely <laughs> shackles guy. I love it. <laughs> he lives on. <laughs> he's he's here somewhere until else. Stark's apocalypse two happens. Yeah, which I don't know. I could. Um, he takes you over to see uh, Biff the bailiff, who still dressed in his nice clothes, says, "I thought you were solving the problems." We are. Problems don't seem very solved. They just seem more complicated now. Not every problem is a simple one. So what's going on? Tell me everything. We don't have we don't have investigators here. We just have men in armor. So spill everything. God, you're asking me to remember something from how many years ago? <laughs> one and a I half. I can feed you lines if you want. <laughs> the only one. I did no, rewatch I... it all. <laughs> no, I straight up did not rewatch anything I meant to, and I never did. <laughs> it's okay. I I I mostly did. I it was the second half of the second one is what I really needed because that was where all the lore started coming in yeah i think i can get my way out of this naturally i hope so <laughs> so george we found we found a gathering of the less than savory individuals mm -hmm. we investigated my uh let's call him associate Silverlin would be able to tell you far more than I. Mm -hmm. He has more of a knack for it. I, as I hold up my, my arms, prefer much more direct methods. <laughs> He's gonna roll insight? He ain't lying. I, I, I'm aware of that. We're gonna... Well, you'll see it in the video, but we'll... Uh... I was just seeing if he would have access George you're very scary so uh, there's gonna sometimes be when you say things that could also be accidentally misunderstood as a threat uh, I'm gonna roll insight low DC but oh wait what other colors of dye can I have oh that's so nice so nice. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm only going to re-roll it so I can see it. But um, he does not mistake that as a threat. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's a nat 20 I just wasted. <laughs> well, That is Samsonite blue. Yeah, there we go. Samsonite blue. So, he says, are you asking me to... Are you asking me 
to bring Silverlin in here. Yes. He would be able to give you much more accurate information than I. He, as far, from what I can, from what I am aware of, he was able to speak directly with many of the members before an altercation occurred. An altercation, huh? Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? That seems to be something you know about. Not much to say. Weapons were drawn, a fight broke out, and we were the ones that were able to stop it. Okay. So he sends Squirrely Handcuff Guy to go get Silverlin. Uh, your, your cell is unlocked. He enters, and he has another pair of rusty handcuffs, and he's like, Come on now, you, you know the drill. Do we really think that's necessary? It's policy. Anyway. I'm going to roll my eyes and allow him to cuff me. <laughs> he cuffs you and takes And you. I will grumble the entire way over. <laughs> I do not look at Cal. <laughs> so, he... The door is, is shut behind you, so Cal is still in there. And you are brought... To meet with Biff the Bailiff. Hi, Biff. And he's like, Sil, your uh, your companion has informed me that you would know better uh, in regards to how to explain what has happened to me. Of course. So, from my preliminary investigation that has been halted by your barkeep. Um, I have found that there, underneath, as you probably have already heard from Amal, there is a small cave network that has been exploited to allow for the mass disappearances that have been happening in the area. Hmm. Now, my... I guess I could call us associates and I are innocent of this, but we understand that maybe we could have handled this a little better, killed a, a few less people, but they did oh attack. God. What? What'd you do? George, what happened? George. George? George. I don't like that he's not muted and we still can't hear him. <laughs> George. <laughs> George? <laughs> what could elicit an oh my god response like that? I, a drink spilling onto a PC? Yes, my thought was drink spill. Could be. <laughs> It could be Big Bug. It could be a Big Bug. It could be a lar... Like a... You know, Molly's brought dead animals inside before. Uh -huh. Maybe there's a bird downstairs now. That's happened before. But we'd be able to hear him yelling. Yeah. It's the, it's the radio silence that's scaring me. Yeah, it's the radio... It's the radio silence. <laughs> but we, um, didn't, we didn't get a text message yet. Hmm. I'm just going to put a question mark in the group chat. <laughs> Maybe you spilled tea on the cats. He might have. He might, he might have to go give the cats a bath. Anyways, the only thing I was going to end that with was they did attack us first, uh -huh. which is clearly a, it's a lie. Uh -huh. And so I was going to roll deception. Which is a 21. How do you have a plus eight? Uh, oh, minute, sorry. Expertise. What happened? Oh, that's... <laughs> that opens what up happened? more questions than answers. <laughs> he ran back over to the PC, his setup, and shoved it's his a... face into the microphone and said, one second, I'm sorry, and then muted himself. 
Oh my god. What's happening? What happened? How do you have a... I gotta... Like, I know we made these character sheets. I'm not saying something's up. I just... Because I've had yeah. plus nine at, like, level mm -hmm. two before. I just gotta... I gotta see this. Five yeah, five. I have expertise as... Uh, I have a 19 in my charisma and expertise in persuasion and deception. Oh, you're a bard. That's what it is. That's the... Problem. There it is. And, and then I... Here's, I want to ride... What what level do you think this will go to? I was thinking ten. I didn't want it to be a very long story. Okay, because if we're not going too too high, I was thinking about maybe multi-classing, but I don't know if I actually want to. I'll put it to you like this: I have like a rough twenty to mm -hmm. twenty-five session plan. It could go longer yeah. or shorter depending on how it's played, but I don't want mm -hmm. um, a super long campaign just because I know we don't get to play as often as we'd like. Mm -hmm. um that and i already have two other campaigns that i want to run for you guys not yeah, saying that too. i want to put this to the side i just you know I, i'm only going to mm -hmm. do one at a time also and then i do when we run Ooh. cyberpunk mm -hmm. i um i know jess will be involved in that and i have another friend who is D, &D starved who she said she might want to be in and which i think would be fun but We'll see. Gotcha. That'd be fun. Just ah. because uh, a four-person group is easier to balance for. It is. Oh my god, it is. And no, and she's I'm, a friend that we don't get to hang out with enough. I am all for playing with new people. That's mm -hmm. not something I always say either, but D&D &D specifically, I really do it. How has mm -hmm. Uvaris got a minus one in strength? We had the same dilemma last time. It's because he just he was like, this is the least important thing for me. I guess. I like how uh, uh, flaws on his uh, is a literal corpse. Yeah, I don't. I can't see his sheet because I don't have access to it. I like having it, and I can give you guys inspiration on your sheets. I can change things on here. Mm -hmm. Is Theros like a continent that's far off from Faerun or something? No, Theros is its own plane. Oh, okay. So then, none of my other stuff will cross over with the exception of like one or two things that for you guys will be brand new and I mm -hmm. probably won't even call attention to it. I think just the gods and what they've been through because of my I've had parties meet yeah. the gods before. If, if somehow Bahamut ends up over mm -hmm. here, you can have a conversation with him about some of the people he's met. Yeah. But like, <laughs> uh, not many really. Now that I'm thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, because it's a because it's a magic crossover. Yeah. With uh, Erebos and, and Helioid mm -hmm. and uh, Thassa and yeah. all them. Do you still have my book? Yeah. Or is that at AJ's? No, I took everything from AJ's. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, I hope he grabbed that. Of course I grabbed it. But yeah, Theros is a plane where the Theros block and other Theros sets take place. It is similar to Hellenic Greece. The name may be from the ancient Greek word Theros, meaning summer. The name may also be a portmanteau of the words the and heroes. So heroes, Theros, right? Mm. Considering heavy emphasis on heroes in the plane. It is governed by the gods of Nyx, where heroes face monsters. The sea rages. People offer burnt offerings and adventures take place. It is defined by mankind's struggle against the primal forces of the world and mankind's conflict with the many other sapient races that populate the world. Um, Theros has a unique metaphysical property. Things believed and dreamed here eventually become true, which is... I tie that into my backstory. Um... <laughs> It, uh, the collective unconscious of millions of people has the literal power of creation through the process, though the process unfolds over countless centuries. Thus, the gods of Theros and their servants were believed, dreamed of, and narrated into existence, materializing and becoming fully real as a result of mortal belief in their power. I'm back. Oh, hi, George. Right, what happened? Explain what happened. Uh, Did you spill oh. your drink on the cat? No. Thea fell off the stairs. Oh! oh. Is she okay? So, That's fun. Is she okay? He's, she says she's all right. God. I don't man. know. We need to. Something needs to change around here. I need a baby. Very broad sweeping we statement. Have, well, we have a literal piece of drywall 
at the bottom of the stairs so Buddy doesn't come down here and pee on everything. Well, yeah, I mean, I kept with... telling you guys to just put up a baby gate. Uh, that doesn't work. Like, we, the problem is we have to still move something out of the way. Yeah, but a baby gate can, like, swing on a hinge and is less difficult to deal with than a whole sheet of drywall you have to move, and so you're more likely to open it than just step over it, which causes point all is, problems. The point is she fell, and... Yes. <sighs> so I had to deal with that. She's fine. She'll be fine. Just very scary. Yeah. I'm glad she's okay. Yeah, I, we were... Well, now I can feel bad for laughing as much as we did, because we were like, well, that was the most comedic thing George has done all night. Oh, my God! Yes, and then from an laughed. outside perspective, very funny. <laughs> Inside perspective. The situation from our point of view. Yeah. All right, well, I'm glad she's okay. Yes, me too. That's scary. Uh, so... Dimitri, did you roll perception yet? Or that other thing? You did. Okay. Uh, deception, that's why, yeah. yeah. That's why I stopped. Mm -hmm. Because, because now... you're like, how do you have a plus eight? And we are level three. <clears throat> we are. We started at three. Should have started at one, but that's neither here nor there. I hate starting at one. I love I starting like, at one. I like early starts, but three is usually as low as I'd go. I like one. I think we actually bullied you into having a start at three. You did, because I was thinking, I was like, I still don't have the feather in my cap of I've d DM'd one through 20. I've done mm -hmm. four through 20 because I took over at level four. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing with campaign two, one through 20. We're level, I have no idea what level I have them at. It's three, I think, two or three. I think it's two, two or three. Who cares? Ha ha ha. In my head, our, our main game is going to go like 1 to 14, 15, mm -hmm. but you're going to stay at those levels for a while, so it's not like, oh yeah, f level 14, so it's a shorter campaign, it's level 14 because the gaps between the later levels are going to be big. That works for me. But, no, honestly, that's that a game that. that, if we were meeting consistently, I already would have wanted to go for a couple years. Yeah. So, with the infrequent meetings, I've sped some stuff up, but you know, once we can get a good schedule down, I'm still 100% okay with <clears throat> taking... I, I still think that we should do D&D every other week after D&D month. I agree. And we, this is I think just doing four in a row is just to get everyone started back up and get the juices flowing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think mine... I don't know how long George has planned for Star Wars, but mm -hmm. um, I think mine will probably go about a year-ish. Mm -hmm. I'm not planning a very long story here. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. It could go longer if we're having a really good time with it. it, it, it I mean, you guys are both DMs, so you know how that kind of stuff can be yeah. changed on the fly. And it's very easy to throw in a new sub story, mm -hmm. which I think we're going to start with a sub story here. And mm -hmm. get, get back into the characters and stuff. We'll see. It, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Play by ear. So, George, you're back and ready, yes? More or less. More or less. All right, I'll take it. Not stirred. Not. That's not the same. Um, so, can I move my little guy? Can I move me? Can I move us? Yeah. No, 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 like my head. Yeah, I have all of mine moved over to the right. How do I move? You drag by the name. Oh, or not by the name, top right corner, sorry. Oh my god. I see. <laughs> that's so cool. So... Well, look at me. I'm up here now. I'll put us all over here, so that way whatever's going on on the map, we're not in the way of. Mm -hmm. Now an hour into the recording, I'm figuring out how this works. Nice. Nice! I love that! Except now... Oh, hang on a minute. Small adjustment. Okay, that's much better. Much better. I like it. So Is your head cam off for your recording? Uh, so your face cam. here's the thing. I'm recording the desktop. The desktop has my face cam. Okay. So XSplit isn't picking up my webcam. My browser is. Okay. My. Because I was thinking it would be really funny if there were two Sams the whole time. No, it'll only pick up one thing or the other. Whichever okay. one picks it up first, the other one doesn't get it. Gotcha, so gotcha, XSplit gotcha, gotcha. can't do it. But the browser is, so we're here. Cool. Yo. Um. Okay. So. You rolled deception, saying that they attacked first. There was 21. I'm gonna roll insight against that. There is he. I mean, his 
He has commoner mm -hmm. stats, which I have memorized because you need them all the freaking time. So let's see. I think only a no. I didn't mean to roll two of them. Well, either way, I would need, I would have needed a twenty. I didn't get mm -hmm. one. <laughs> So, he says, well, if you say they attack first, then they attack first. You haven't proven yourself a liar. Um, and then anyone who can prove that, we stabbed to death. You did. <laughs> I mean, it, it's kind of a... You have been here talking with him before Uvaris even arrived. Mm -hmm. um, so there's already a little bit of a relationship between you two. Yeah. He's um, got info for me after this. Yeah. So at least in theory. He um he tells you that he apologizes for how things uh have started. Uh he said that you how how long were you here? Wasn't it a couple days? I think I was here for, like, four or five days. Bloodfang was here for two weeks, and, of course, we started when Ovaris got here. Yeah, that's right. Because we used George as the first, but he was the last. Like, it was a whole yeah. poetry thing. Um, I've noticed if you write stories to emulate poetry, they're really nice. So Yes. Like, little things. Like, poetry like rhymes. Star yes. War. Okay. Now. Um, he says, actually, um... Hang on. What was it? There was lore, and then I, I, I debated dropping it. I'm still cobbling stuff together. That was good. Um, let's see here. George. Yes. Upon hearing the explanation, do you have any reaction? That uh, they started it? Yeah. They did not start it, in fact. I mean... In Ovaris' also, was, mind. I think he was out of the room for this part. In Ovaris' mind, they kidnapped people. That's starting it. <laughs> I, I, I love that. And so he asks, so... And he kind of points to the jail cell. Or at least in that direction. He's like, so... Cal, then? Was he also innocent? Cal seems and forgive me here a little stupid Biff. uh truthfully i think he is just a kid who got suckered into believing the wrong people um i he's he's certainly not innocent uh i i had a chat with him back in the cell trying to get a little more information out that we couldn't get before you know, we were apprehended. Um, but they were kidnapping people for some kind of magical ritual, from what I can gather. Um, but he is very low on the totem pole, and, you know, it feels like he was manipulated, largely. I, I feel bad for the kid. Okay. I'll have to take that into consideration. Um... With that being said, do you have any ideas of who he was manipulated by? Salejandro. Salejandro? He's a Salejandro. Stand, he's a stand-up citizen. He's not. <laughs> have you seen, have you been in the basement of the tavern? I have no business in the basement of the tavern. Yeah, we didn't either until the cave system underneath your town led directly down there. And the only person with access to the basement of the tavern is Salejandro. That's how they were getting in and out. And the, the two prisoners you have that are not innocent, Cal and I think Morkin was the other one. Morkin is also... I know he was name-dropped a couple times. I can't remember if he was one we killed or if he was... Because there were two people, aside from Salejandro, that are involved. Mm -hmm. Like, there were two people that got arrested. And I think it was Cal and Morgan. Unless we just said it was Morgan because he didn't show up and he was on like a letter, I think, from his mom? That was if Morgan did have... I don't know if Morgan ever was around, actually. It was either Morgan... 
Yeah, I know Gordoff was the first person we sort of interrogated. Yeah, I remember him. But Morkin, I don't know if he ever we got confirmed. I don't think we've seen that we've it was met Morkin. Morkin yet. I know Morkin is someone that's involved, but I don't think we've mm -hmm. met Morkin yet. Okay, so then Cal and the other one. I didn't get his name. I don't think we did because I wasn't because I wasn't locked in a room with him. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they ran directly. To Salehandro for help, and that's when Salehandro called the guards and had us arrested. He's trying to paint us in a bad light here. So you're suggesting to me that I need to imprison, exile, or in some way or another legally punish the heart and soul of the economy of this small town that I run? Yes. Yes. That is precisely what we're saying. The heart and soul of your town is corrupt. But without that bar, we have nothing. Without Salihandro, we have no bar. Without your children, you have no future. I don't have children. The children of Oxus that have been kidnapped and presumably set to be killed oh, for this ritual right. they're planning? They were kidnapping kids specifically. With a bunny? I don't remember the bunny. What are you referring to? It was like a magic bunny that they were using to lure kids, I think. I think you I think you made a joke like are you not doing the rabbit anymore? No, I think I was I was I said are you doing the owl and Gordoff said, "Oh, we're doing the rabbit." Oh, that's right. What that's owl? Right. It's all coming back like, to me. It's all coming yeah, back yeah, yeah. to me. I'm usually more on top of it, I promise. That's okay. It's been a like two like 9 years, so. And there's a massive reset and we're in the middle of it. Um, so... I can't wait until you can't blame the reset anymore. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it for as long as I can. I know. I'm I would still telling the same people thing. at Menards that I'm the new guy. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're like in charge of stuff. I, I know! The whole department's mine. Like, I'm the new guy. I don't know what I'm doing yet. That's like, you've funny. been here since February and you're in charge of like 18 people. I'm like, ah! Uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> What's a Menard? Yeah. I, I think it's a coin. I don't know. No, like so. Uh, anyway, um, he says, but what? I could hit a persuasion here, but you know. You should. Twenty-two. Ugh. He says. Okay. Okay. At least until we can get more information about what's actually happening here. So, as you three come to the conclusion that it's time to arrest Salihandro for his connection to whatever these kidnappings are, Varus specifically, yes, I'm going to need a dexterity saving a dex save, okay. 17. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Alright, give me one <laughs> second. As Remember when I told you I was ready? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not. He was ready for a failed save, not a pass save. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, that's it, is the thing. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 stupid, 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 stupid. Nope, never mind. It's not what I thought it was. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I got this. I got this. I'm winging it. Man, I really need to prepare more. Okay, that'll work. I've used this in film projects before. Music. So. Ooh, Varus. Yes. I am going to have to tell you. So, as you are speaking and you finally come to terms with the fact that maybe it's time to arrest Alejandro. Uh, it, 
you manage to step out of the way. I don't know if it's your undead instinct or if it's just your severe battle readiness. But you feel whizzing at you a lit torch. From where? Behind you. Do I pass? Yes, you pass. Okay. So! Oh god, I'm still handcuffed. <laughs> Correct. On the right side, the rusty. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I uh strength is one of my dump stats. <laughs> strength is one of your dump stats. Uh I'll be fine. The building begins to catch fire as Biff the bailiff starts going, "Huh! Huh! What's going on?" Uh squirrely handcuff guy goes, "Oh no!" And he like <laughs> runs out the front door. What are we doing? Can I as he passes me, can I just stick my hands out and say, Unlock me, unlock me, unlock me! <laughs> Roll me persuasion with disadvantage. The man's running for his life. Okay. If this doesn't work, I do have another plan. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> nah, you're good. That's not with disadvantage. That's uh, with disadvantage, though. 24. <laughs> so, he literally, he goes... Uh, 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 <laughs> and drops the keys and runs. He does unlock you. Though. Okay. And he drops. I'm the keys going and to. Runs. As as George does whatever he is starting to do, I'm going to lunge down and grab the keys so I can unlock him. Okay. George, what are you doing? Um. Can I just try to bash the handcuffs over my knee? Yes. Yeah, make me a strength check. Um. Give me a minute. I'm reading how this ability works. Which ability? Okay. Some it's just straight strength. Didn't mean to click that. I could give him a bardic. Can I can I talk you can I talk you up to athletics? Convince me. It still uses strength. It's not very athletic. I'm bashing something against my knees that would require some amount of athleticism. Odds or evens, George? Odds. Good man. Nope. Darn, alright. So, I'm going to roll strength. <laughs> alright, that ability will not save me. <laughs> so, you just like... With a three, I don't know. Your wrist kind of hurts a little bit. Ow. I'm also going to... Hold on. I'm going to... Can I, like... I'm assuming... Okay. Can I, like, walk to the door? Yeah. Cool. Can I press my body against the door to try to open it? The door is... It's an open floor plan. That much I remember. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm going to run out of the... I'm going to run out the door then. Okay, so hang on. How do tokens work? How do I? How can I put just random? So tokens? you should be able to just if you go to your art thing, like your journal page where all the characters and stuff are, you'll be able to just click and drag tokens into the uh, thing. Yeah, and if you don't have characters, you can uh, like search for a thing. Like if you want, just like generic bandit. Yeah. Stat that's, blocks. Like that's all I. I have the stat blocks. I don't have. Mm. Uh, are they custom stat blocks or are they like monster no, manual? They're just. I have them here on my phone. I have all that here. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. How if to they're get like normal tokens. monster manual player handbook stuff, you should just be able to in the library. So not like the journal to the left of the jukebox. You should be able to search for it if it is like a player's handbook stat block, and you should just be able to drag them in. This will work, I suppose. Oh, yeah, this is exactly it. Token, please. Wait, am I on the token level? Or token layer? Yeah, I'm on token layer. Can you see his hit points? No. No. He I looks aggressive. <laughs> the pizza is aggressive. The pizza is aggressive. Bond with me, Jimbo. Um... Um, 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 um
This is something I should have done pre... That's okay, you didn't know. I didn't. It's one of those things with Roll20 that you don't think about until you have to do it. That, yeah. Then, oh, no, we're not going to do that. No. Well, actually, you know what? I mean, no. 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 Um, that's better and worse, I suppose. I'm enjoying myself already. Like, we're not even into anything I am excited to do. That's one thing about this in this particular session. Nope, wrong. Didn't mean to just click that. I was just checking my spells. I don't know if we can handle that yet. Um, this particular session, I'm the most and least excited for. Yeah. Just because... Oh, my... I didn't know I could put this in. What does this look like when I put it in? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't see arc for those. Big Angie. Are they just big, aggressive portraits for you guys? Yeah. There's, no there's one very big, aggressive portrait. Okay, there's no longer one aggressive portrait. I... I, I wanted to see what it looked like when I put a Tarrasque in. Yeah, that's what I assumed that you did. It's, it's yeah, it's interesting that some of them some of them have token art, like bandits have art. But other ones don't. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Anyway. Alright, we'll use this, I guess. Oh, I don't know, he might get smashed by you guys, though, is the thing. We'll find out, won't we? Oh, this has art. We'll, we'll never face that. But where is? Oh, what's this guy's stats? Because this has the generic art that I might be able to use. Nope. Almost 200 hit points. We're not there yet. I do apologize for the slight disorganization. That's okay. You just cut this out. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you guys are suffering now. Oh, this is suffering. I get to hear battle music and sit here playing with a chain. Not a euphemism. I have a chain in my hands. I was, I was hoping for the clarification. Well, uh, you got it. I got gotcha. you. George, you do... Oh, these guys are in that other thing we'll play. Okay. Yes. I, I like these stats. Um. However, the only thing that's different is this is technically a dwarf. That's okay. I'm we not, use our imagination. Yeah, this is not a dwarf. Okay. So, Uvaris. Yes. I run outside. Run outside. And you are what do I see? with Do I see things? You do. So What do I see? See this? This right here? Yeah. Where you came from? Yeah. On fire. See oh this? I can do that. See this? Is that also on fire? <laughs> this is on fire. This is on fire. It's almost like all is not well in Oxus. <laughs> this is on fire. I'll help. This is on fire. You got that one. And this building, well, you can't see it, but this is also on fire. And the fire is spreading. And in the middle, right here, ish, you see... The one on the left, your left, Cal, armed up to fight you. The one on the right, a man you've never seen before. 
And behind them is Salihandro, armed, now wearing armor, also ready to fight you. Boys. Which one is Salihandro? The one in the back. Is that the one in the middle? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to need you to roll initiative. I can do that. How do I roll initiative? Yeah, how, do, how does combat work for these guys? I crit failed on my initiative. Wow, you guys suck. Uh, how do I That's okay. build the building? Safe. Yeah, initi <laughs> initiative's one of the few times that that doesn't really matter. Um, how do I... So do I open these and then roll initiative? Like, is there... Uh, so, for s sometimes the initiative thing is bugged, depending on what you're using. Click the token, then click initiative. Where's initiative? Like, I see the token. Uh, if it's a 5e NPC, it should have a dice icon above it, and it'll just say, like, I-N-I-T or something. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Just roll dexterity for them and, uh, add it manually. If you right-click the tokens, you can say, add turn. Do I just hit add turn? Yeah, if you just hit add turn, and then... Where's the combat, like, thing? Uh, that should be on your sidebar. I think it's going to be under dice? I think. I, that's how it, looks like a it looks like a clock. It looks like a clock. It's Fog of War. Oh, I see. That's kind of cool. Turn order. Here we go. There we go. So, Dimitri, for whatever reason, you're not... In it? Yeah, I'll roll again. Hopefully, I still get a bad. Yep, I rolled a two, so that. Okay, so. Great! Tri <laughs> Tribal Warrior. Grand. Okay. This guy. No thanks, Fog of War. Uh, this guy will roll. There's gotta be a way to. To, now that I see the turn order, there's got to be a way to roll initiative. Oh, George, thankfully you're a monk. What does that mean? You can do unarmed attacks just fine. I can. In fact, I have horns that allow me to do unarmed attacks, so I don't even need I don't even need my arms. I forgot about that. That's actually I don't even need to unlock you, really. I would prefer if you did. <laughs> Well, I, if it's gonna take like an I have action, this, I'd rather I have use this that really cool ability I'd like to use. So this guy. Got... Also, if you want to, you can like if you hit the tokens, the little like orb icon underneath next to the gear, you can use to like mark them with a color, so you can keep them like know which one they are on the initiative tracker. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we got our turn order. You guys can see it. Okay. So, let's... How do I pull up his character sheet? And, like, do his attacks? You, I think if you double-click him, that might work. GM notes, general, his health bar. Open character sheet. Okay. So he is... Okay. Oh, he can enlarge himself? That's weird. That's a dwarf thing that we're not gonna... We're gonna pretend he doesn't have. So, I'm gonna just click this. I'm assuming that... So, George, he's going to, obviously, come at you. He's going to work his way up into the middle. He's going to... I clicked it twice. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, isn't it... Either way, it doesn't hit. Wait. No, so he's rolling with advantage technically because that's the default. Because that's what the that's what the default of the game is set to. Why? Because I had to make it in five minutes because you were at work, Sam. <laughs> so he rolls advantage on everything. Well, no, the because of the way the default is set up, it, the game will automatically roll advantage even like. It will always assume he should have advantage, so it will roll twice, even if he would not have advantage. Wow. So either we That's can why there's two or there. just say that it's, like... How do I fix that yeah. setting real quick? You'd have to mess with it in his character sheet, as well as the other twos. In my first time ever using this, so we just went with the left number, because that's the one that was rolled first. Okay, then that's what we'll do. 
We'll do that for now, and then we'll fix it. Fix we'll it later. fix it later. Yeah, but for I'll uh, I'll have to go in and mess with it. Thank you, George. Yeah, we'll just go with the left number. All right, now how many attacks does he get? I think just one. We're not really at the point where. Yeah, that's next level when you can start throwing multi attack at us. Okay, it is now. Well, how do I? Uh... Oh no! I got rid of both of them in the in the turn order. <laughs> I hate that. That's myself. exactly what we wanted. Hang on. I'm still learning. Okay. Next is this tribal warrior. He's actually going to work his way up to you, George, and he is going to take a big old swing. And that's um Cal, right? Yes. Okay, Cal definitely hits. Yeah, Cal hits. So we're gonna So you I, th I think you click spear in the chat, but I could be wrong. I think you click attack. No, oh, George is right. Yeah. Nine piercing. He rolled okay. next. That hurt. Uh, I'm going to just double check, make sure he doesn't have any other actions. I don't think he does, because these guys are pretty low. Uh... Ooh, technically, that was actually made with advantage because his pack tactics. So they will, him and the other guy will oh. actually be rolling with advantage. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I see him right now? Uh, no. You're still okay. Inside. And now it is the turn of Uvaris. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. How exactly does this work? We're learning, like just just for anybody that decided to watch, we're still learning the roll twenty thing. So, bear with us. Cool. I'm going to use my horns to make an unarmed strike against this guy. Okay. Uh, uh, Cal, I believe. That's Cal. Cal. Yes, Cal. Oh. <laughs> Does that hit? <laughs> that definitely hits. Cool. Um. Wah. Seven bludgeoning damage. Seven. I'm going I think it would be to... piercing with the horns, right? I don't remember. <laughs> um, I'm going to burn a key point to use flurry of blows. How do I so I get to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. How do I health him? So if you click on him and those little bubbles ah, appear, you can. Yeah. So how much was the first one? Seven. Seven. Yeah, um, I spent one key point, I'm activating Flurry of Blows, so I get to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Monks Both. are so fun. Both on Cal? Yep, I'm just going until he's done. <laughs> okay. Rar. Uh, if it hit before. Yeah, it's, that definitely hits. Rar. So... Uh... Yeah. How do you want to do this? Uh, you know the Cervantes. Cal, dude. You know the Cervantes thing where he like stabs you with his swords, brings you up, and then slams you down. So. Can I do that? But my horns are the swords. That's so cool. Yes. And since you didn't call non-lethal, Cal is dead. No, he's dead. Super dead. I, if I call non-lethal, something incredibly life-changing has happened to Wolvaris. <laughs> That's I also a get good this point. ability. Touch of death. When a creature, when I reduce a creature within five feet of me to zero health, I gain temporary hit points equal to my wisdom plus monk level. Which so is. I gain. So I have three wisdom, and I'm currently three monk level, so I get six temporary health. Nice. And then Good. because because he's down, I'm going to look at Salehandro, and I'm going to use that other unarmed strike I have. 
Roar. I don't think I hit. He laughs as you miss. You stupid. <laughs> Are you done? Cool. Um. Five. Now I'm done. Silvalin. Sil for short. This is correct. Oh, I'm going to start doing the thing. Sil, short for Silvalin. Short sir, for Silvalin. Okay. I am going to... First, I'm going to turn to Biff. How, how's, how's Biff doing? He's okay? Biff. Uh, not engulfed in flames? Not engulfed in flames. Looks like this. <laughs> he looks like what? Okay, cool. I got a good screenshot. <laughs> That's... I HATE okay. YOU! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's such a funny picture. Will you okay. just play the game? Yes, so. I understand, I'm learning. It's not as engaging as it was the last no, no, two no, times. No. No, I get it. it. Was, We're it resetting! Really it's not gonna be as good face. yet! Oh, it's just a good face I enjoyed looking at it! Can't you tell I'm resetting everything?! No, you never said. Daddy, Are daddy, please play? stop fighting. Didn't like that. It's all right. Okay. So sorry, that's gonna go on a thumbnail. Um. So. <laughs> um. I'm Why going doing, to turn to Biff, and I'm face. gonna. Is there a window? Yeah, there's a window. Or, or a there's back a window. door. There's two windows, actually. Thank you for asking. And I have the whole layout of the building in my head. There's an upstairs too, if you'd like to go. Not, it's on fire, Sam. I'm not gonna it's go upstairs. Fire downstairs, fire goes up. not upstairs. Fire drops. I'm, I'm going to point oh. at Biff and yeah. say, yeah, you look tall when you sit. sit up straight. Don't slouch. It's good for your back. Um, so I'm gonna point to Biff as I make my way to the door and I say, do not go out this way. There are bad people trying to kill us. And also, I told you so. And then I'm just going to run to the door and probably out. Yep, 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 yep. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, my spell save DC isn't great. It's not great. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to burn a second level spell slot to ca to do command. Okay. Right? You speak a one word command to a creature you can see within range. It must make a wisdom save or follow the command on its next turn. Uh, it has no effect if it's undead, doesn't understand my language, or if my command is directly harmful to it, so I can't tell them to suffocate. Um... <laughs> And it has a bunch of, like, laid-out commands to pick. Um, but, you know, it says you can, you can pick own. a different word. Yeah. So, with a second-level spell slot, I can select both of them. Uh, both Salihandro and the third guy. And I'm just going to say, point my sword and just say, surrender. And they each need to make a wisdom save. They each need to make a wisdom save. And they need to be a 14. Which is probably easy. Nice. Oh, I'm supposed to One of them makes it. Behind the DM screen. That's okay. Fine. It's fine. That's okay. The non Salihandro guy succeeds. Salihandro. But Salihandro does not. Wow. Okay. So on his next turn, he has to obey? He has to surrender. Whatever that looks like. It says the GM describes what they do. Okay. But yeah, it says you might issue a command other than the one described here. If you do so, the GM determines how the target behaves. If it can't follow your command, the spell ends. Like, I can't tell him to fly. Um, but otherwise, he surrenders, whatever that means. Is that your turn? <laughs> that is my entire turn, yes. That is my action. I don't think I have anything I can use a bonus action for. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna healing word um Ovaris with my bonus action for Thank five you. health. Wait, hold on a minute. What? 
What is the description of healing word? This does matter. Dimitri, don't think you can heal me. I don't think you're actually technically an undead, are you? Sam, it's up to you. Are you so... technically... Because, okay, per... Per the description of the race, are you... Because what, you're... No, it's just your background. You're a haunted one. So... No, my background is soldier. My race is reborn. Oh, okay. Hold on. So... 5e reborn. Hold on a minute. Okay, so... I just pulled this up. <laughs> uh, you uh... are a humanoid. Okay, you are a humanoid. All right, all right. So that does work. Okay. So I do still heal. Cool, you threw me through a loop. That was actually terrifying. Yeah. No, I thought I was just... I thought I was completely screwed. <laughs> I just <laughs> melted you. I would have just allowed it anyway, just because yeah. I played a vampire for three years who could be healed like normal. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and that it just makes it easier for you guys and stuff, so... Yeah. I am fine with that. Special zombie healing potions bought at every store. Yeah. I don't know why we suddenly started stocking these, and I don't know why only one person ever seems to buy them, but... <laughs> but he buys all of them, each time, so... Alright, so Homie G here is going to take a nice, big, long stab. I like how all... he has three actions. Spear, spear, and spear. Ooh. I think those are probably, like, one hand... Two hand and thrown, probably, but I don't know why. I don't know why. So he's gonna try and spear Uvaris. Well, he is a coward and a scoundrel and misses. Alright. That's his whole turn. It is now Salihandro's turn. Where he drops his weapon and puts his hands forward to be bound. Wonderful. It is now George's turn. Just gonna glare at this guy and uh second verse same as the first. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I miss. Who are you? Who for Salihandro? No, not Salihandro. Oh, Let me see how this works, because I think I can do a normal bonus action unarmed attack. Yes, so I do get I can I can spend a key point to do two unarmed strikes as a bonus action, but normally I just get an unarmed strike as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. It's part of martial arts. So I'm just gonna try again. Oh. That hits. That <laughs> Yeet. Wow. Uh, and then I'm going to one because Salihandro is currently surrendering, so I'm assuming I don't get an attack of opportunity from him. All right. Uh, that is my turn. Okay. Silver and Donvale. I'm <laughs> going to take the handcuffs that were just on me. And I'm going to immediately, before the spell wears off, just clasp him on Salihandro. I'm assuming I won't need to roll for it because he's actively submitting to me. Yeah, he, he's, you know, there's no rules for that. He's literally surrendering. Cool. I'm oh. also assuming that will take my action for the turn. Yes, absolutely. Um, so, I don't think I have any other, like, bonus action things I can do unless I just want to heal Ovaris again. Oh, actually, hold on. Is this? Nope, that's an action as well. How does yeah, command I work? Yes. Uh command It should still be in the chat. Um it just says it lasts one round. Okay, that's what that was so, really what I'm looking for. See yeah, it lasts one round, so I I would assume that it would be up on his next round. Yeah. So when, so, uh, when his neck when he comes back around in the turn order, he will be sentient again. Yes. Yeah. Apparently. And then if you click on his token, you can put an X over him to make him dead. How? Where's the X come in? 
if you click him and then you click the little orb looking icon under him, it gives you a bunch of status conditions that you can do. So yeah, for example, and if you hit a number key when you're hovering over it, you can put different things on it. Like for example, I have nine of these. Ah, that's cool. Whatever those are. You know what's wild? I can't see your guys' hit points, but I can see theirs. I think because you have to set in our character sheets what like the different ones are for. Mm -hmm. Because I also can't see my hit points on the roll 20 thing. Oh. Because I had to manually set those for... Like, I can see my hit points on my sheet, but... Yeah, you'd have to set those up. We can do that later. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can figure that out. It doesn't need to be a now problem. It works just fine as is. Uh, so your turn is up then, unless you have a bonus action? Nope. Okay. So this tribal warrior is going to, believe it or not, try and spear Uvaris. Like the bite of a flea, he misses. Mm. Alright. And now it is my boy Salihandro's turn. And he kind of like... And he's going to try and break the... Thing. You can't break those cuffs. <laughs> I'm going to use the same DC. You're just going to have to trust me here. I will trust you. Oh, we did see that roll, too. 11. Use the 11. Yeah, that's not good enough. Okay, because the DC was uh, 14. Because um, they're rusty. They're not great. Yeah, yeah. I just wink at him. I hate you. And that's his, <laughs> that's his whole turn. And now we're up to our Ovaris again. Third verse. You already know. Does that hit? <laughs> I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna headbutt him really, really hard. <laughs> and then I'm going to, uh, I think this technically counts as difficult terrain, so 10. Uh, and I'm just gonna <laughs> spend the key point to do Flurry of Blows. Two more unarmed strikes going at Salejandro. He's in cuffs, he's, bro. <laughs> he's in cuffs. Make him with advantage. With advantage, okay. The 20 hits, I'm assuming. Uh, what's his AC? Uh, not 20, so that hits. Here's the first one. <laughs> Second unarmed strike. Oh, does 17 hit? Uh, yes. Here's the damage. Are you calling non-lethal? <laughs> no! <laughs> so, 8 plus 7, that's 15 damage? This man deserves what happens to him. Unless you can give Ovaris a good reason why he shouldn't kill him. So, are you done? Yes, I am done. I... I think... It's Silverlin's turn. Okay. Do you remember, I think we did save the people who were kidnapped. You did. Okay. So we don't need him to find them. <laughs> Going you know, the over the is, should we keep the thing him? Is, we yeah, him? the thing is, in my head as George, I have a good reason to keep him around. <laughs> yes. But it would but Ovaris. Well, Silverlin's a thinker. I so love that even if it's to your detriment, you play your character, George, and I appreciate it. Yes. That. Oh yeah, I'm so, not playing me. That'd be way more boring. I'm assume I'm. I want to figure out why he um. I I want to know more about this, but I don't know how willing he's going to be to talk to me about it. All right, I'm going to. I'm going to attack non-lethally with my rapier. Oh, Boo! with advantage. He, with advantage, with advantage, mind you, with advantage! <laughs> okay. okay. Fine. Oh my god, he's, he's, he's bound! I got advantage! I know, I know! 
Uh, 11 Ooh, non lethal damage. damage. Okay, explain to me what you're doing and how you're doing it, because that's exactly so, how much he had left. My, what I want to do is I want to sort of go for the shoulder, right? Because it's piercing. I can't be like, oh, it's piercing damage. I hit him with the hilt. Yeah. My plan is I want to go for like the shoulder and effectively like charge him and pin him to the ground by the shoulder and like end the fight, right? So it's like a, a lunging charge really to just totally immobilize him however I deem fit. Got it. Let me see if there's, like, fire crackling. I should have had that going. Sorry. Unrelated. Thea bought this popcorn, and it's, like, flavored popcorn, but one of the flavors, when you smell it, just smells like milk. Oh. Ew. Milk corn. I don't like that. Pop it's, milk. like, chocolate and something else, but it just smells like milk with a little bit of cocoa. I hear that. Don't, don't hear that. <laughs> Do not hear milk with cocoa. I would not wish this upon my worst enemy. Okay, I got this. I got this. Actually, this is kind of a cool thing that I wish I knew about earlier. I should have had this going. <clears throat> That's good. So, as I pin him to the ground, I want to turn to Avaros. And I'm going to say, we need them alive to figure out what exactly they're doing. Do you follow me? Uh, he's just going to look down at Salehandro and just, fine. I promise you we can kill him when we're done. You would better make good on it. What, do you, what, what are we... What's the idea? What are we doing here? Well, with the other two dead, uh, I think I just want to drag... Well, first I'm going to check to see where did Biff go. You told him to go out the back window. Okay. Well, with Salihandro unconscious on the ground, I'm going to just look around and see if I can see him, and I'm just going to call Biff. Uh, roll perception. Perception. I can perceive so much. All the time. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, advantage because he's bound. No. <laughs> no. No. No, Dimitri, you have dark vision. You oh, yeah, I have dark vision. vision. Is it dark day, out with all the fire? It's the middle of the day. It's dark out with all the fire middle of the day. <laughs> also, this building is presumably at least a little on fire at this yeah. point. Could we claim that dark times are ahead? <laughs> oh. Okay. Turn order gone. Sam, can... all is not well in Oxus. I can see that. Okay, um, you know, I'm looking around, and I've just got to say, I disagree. Things are going pretty well. <laughs> uh, Uvaris, make me a perception check. Eleven. Not as good, huh? Nope. Not with that. It's fine. It's fine. It's a little detail that we'll get later. It's fine. That's a surprise tool that'll help us later. Um, okay. I remember the mystery mouse tool one time was literally just like rope. And I was pissed. Yeah, do you remember if we named my home city? <laughs> uh, no, you specifically did not. You left it open okay. to me uh, as to where we, I did pick it. Okay. Uh, but I want that to be. But like currently, later on. currently, that's in the the flea binder. <laughs> Playing some flea and D. <laughs> flea and D. I like that. Um, so, boys, you now have a flaming town, a prisoner, and not much else. Okay. Well, I don't. We don't see Biff at all. Uh, not with a, not with a seven, or a six, or whatever it was. Okay. And I'm assuming that the prison is entirely in flames, so there's no chance of me even attempting to see uh, if, if if anyone's okay in there. You can. Uh, I'm just gonna peek towards the 
front and sort of see if I can see through the door. Perception if there's check. any signs of life, even remotely. I'm good at those. I've never failed one of those. I mean, I picked ten in my head. Looks like all the cell doors are open. Okay. All right, well, if all of them are open, I, I'm not going to go into a burning building. But I'm just going to say, I'm going to turn to Avaris. Help me get him over to the well. And I, I just like want to sort of I don't like drag him over there. How do I paint? I step out from my my body. Because uh, I'm going to just help Silva and drag him to the, the well. Mm. Okay. So you drag him to the well. Still, he's still unconscious. And we throw him in. No, we got to ask him a couple questions first. But afterwards, be my guest. We can't move him. If we're gonna move him, you gotta move him. I'm drawing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's measurement. No, you know what? You know what he is. He is. Are you gonna make a square? Let me make a square. A square. He's a square. <laughs> there it is. You know what he is? He's. A square. <laughs> it's a square. Okay. So, fire raging on. Uh, with your perception check of 13, it does look like the prison is empty. Mm -hmm. uh, there's actually a startling amount of not corpses laying around for a town that yeah, you saved a bunch of Yeah, it seems very empty now. Um, I take it I see nobody. Uh, besides the three people... That two of which you just killed and one of which it looks like you're about to, you see no one. At all. Which is unique. Hmm. You were in Biff the Bailiff's office for quite a while. Who knows what was going on out here while you guys were talking. Mm hmm. So he is unconscious and at the well. Shake him awake. Shake him awake. You kind of, you shake him and he's like... Hey, his chest in. He's like, uh... And he kind of like reaches for his weapon that is not there. Yeah, that is gone. And then he kind of like, oh, what? Just do it. Where is everyone? What do you care? I have some information I need to get off of Biff. And I can't talk to Biff until I know everyone's safe. I don't know where Biff is. What about everyone else? I don't know where everyone else is. Why are you here? What do you mean, why am I here? What do you think I'm gonna give you answers for? You tell, I tell you what you want. You kill me anyway. I can guarantee your safety if you answer my questions, and I will roll deception. I will roll insight. So okay, 14, okay. but, but because of, where is it? Because of my silver tongue, if I'm making charisma, if I'm making persuasion or deception, anything lower than a nine, I can treat as a 10. So that is actually an 18. Mm -hmm. You can see later on if I fudge the roll or not. Yeah. It did not work. He is... He's like, Cut my throat! Do it now! I think that might be a little too quick. Wouldn't you agree, Ovaris? Ovaris just looks at you and you see a very dark smile cross his lips. I'm not sure you want my input. I'm, right, going to, I'm, go, I'm going to look back at him, actually. I'm going Please to say... Do. I'm just going to say... You obviously have greater plans than just this town. What are they? I ain't telling you shit! 
We had a good thing going here, and you came and you screwed it all up! I'm aware. It was very fun. You should try it sometime. And he kind of like, he looks at you and he says, You have no idea what you've stepped in. You better quit while you're ahead. You're I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to raise my shirt to reveal some of the scarring that I have. Whatever you could possibly do, I've lived through worse. Oh, you don't need to worry about me. I'm nothing. I'm nothing compared to what you have in front of you. Nothing on at that, all. On that, we can agree. So, now I have then, a question, Sam. What exactly is ahead of us? Considering oh, yeah, you yeah. seem to, considering you seem to know so much. And uh, he kind of like looks around at the, at the burning town, and he goes, "You think I'm gonna give you anything? Anything? After you Your... did all this, what? Cause you earned it? Cause you beat me? Throw me in the well. Let's get this over with." Uh, Ovaris is just going to walk over here and grab his shoulder. Silverlin, simply okay. let me simply let me know when you are ready. I just have one question for you. One question, and I promise you don't have to tell me anything. But do you think this was worth it? Anything. Good. Ovaris, be my guest. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna chuck him in the well, I guess. I'm gonna try to, anyways. I think we said last time it was like 80 feet. It was, it a, was far, a deep well. Far drop. That is enough to deal the one remaining hit point he would have from being non-lethal damaged, so... That is correct. So you... How do I unsnap? Actually, wait. Hold on. Before oh, we do, do we want to pat him down first? Yeah, we should probably see if he has like a letter. Well, or I, I turned it over to you. It'd be up to you to. I'm gonna that. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pat him down and see if I can find anything of note on him. Goes, oh, well, I'm gonna, gonna go and do the same with the other two. Uh, Dimitri, roll me investigation. I can investigate. George also roll me. Oink. Dimitri, give me two rolls, actually. I got 17 on one of them. I'm gonna let Dimitri and do this And well. 11 on the other. Okay. Investigation. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna hit knowledge of a past life. I can roll it, basically, I can roll a d6 to add that number to the d20 that I just rolled. Okay. I can use this a total number of times equal to my proficiency, which is two. So, I have one remaining. So, 11 in total. Seven eleven, or seventeen eleven. Sorry, <laughs> I was thinking of the place. Uh, both of them are wearing uh, intact hide armor, uh, which would work as like leather armor. Uh, mm -hmm. and each have a spear, and this one in particular had uh, two gold pieces. Some, I'm bankrolling. That's basically my payment for the job. Basically. And sure. Well, it's a good thing to know that Cal is Cal is both dumb and broke. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me pull up the map here. I dropped it in the Discord. Oh, yeah. Okay. So... George, you pat him down and he goes, you're really going to pick me clean while I'm still breathing. <clears throat> much, like, much like you giving us information, whether you are alive or dead right now is irrelevant. You made your choices, I'm making mine. Your life is irrelevant in both cases. If you would like to change that, we're more than willing to speak. But until then... It does not matter to me. He's like, he says, you won't spare me, will you? Nothing will get that out of you, will it? 
You know me so well. Why would I tell you a thing? Because you had a chance. A chance you did not take. Had Silverlin said it, I would not have killed you. However, considering you simply had to be difficult, wanted to make our lives difficult, and motions to the town around him, were willing to go through all of this, I find it very hard to believe that we would give you any other chance to do anything close to this again. Simply put, you've dug your own grave. I'm simply putting you in it. I like that. So, George, you... If you would like to start filling the hole with something other than a worthless body, be my guest. So as you're patting him down, there is a small pouch that he has with three gold pieces in it. Taking that. He has... Let me see. I mean, he has scale mail on, but I don't think you're going to strip him down before throwing him in the hole. Uh, uh no, you can keep that. I work better with no armor. He does have a shield. I'm not proficient. Okay. Yeah, monks do no armor. War pick and a javelin. I'm not sure I can use any of those. Monks are very restrictive in what they can use. Yeah, they it needs to specifically be a monk weapon. And George, roll me one more investigation check, please. Okay. Bap. Nice. Right on the money. In said pouch with said money is a tiny little piece of paper that's rolled up in a little scroll. Just gonna kind of hold it in front of him. So this means nothing to you then? He spits at you. I will spit back. Oh, do the undead <laughs> generate saliva? I'm sure it, it is filled with various diseases. <laughs> uh, I'm going to unroll the paper and read it. I will put it in the chat what it says. Do a handout. You can also add it as a handout, too, if you want to save it for later. Do a handout. I don't remember exactly how to do that, though. All right, he's just he's just going to put it in the chat. <laughs> Meet in Miletus. He will be in attendance. Your presence is men. That's what it says. Meet in Miletus. He, capital H, will be in attendance. Your presence is mandatory. Uh, this is I'm going to just... wander a little farther out to see if I can spot anyone. You're just yeah. looking for Biff. I am. Well, that's the thing. Biff, anyone tracks any sign of life whatsoever. Another perception. <laughs> no, Jesus. dude. Jesus. The smoke's in your eyes at this point. It oh, is, my it God. Is. You found a really cool trail of ants, and you're like, ooh, where does this go? Oh, wow. Fire ants. I was following. <laughs> I was following the ants in the spirit of wonder. Uh, Avaris is just Melitus. And he kind of just gives you like a scowl, and he just goes, "If you know what's good for you, you won't go." Avaris looks around. Are you quite aware of what I did? Before all of this, doesn't matter. It does. It does. I've committed many acts very similar to what you have done. I will not say I regretted them, only that I wish that it could not, only that I wish there was another way. 
I do not regret performing these acts. No, sorry. I do not. Re I do not regret performing these acts. I simply wish it could have been done somewhere else. You, however, as I'm going to just point my horn directly into his. I'm going to just point directly into his chest. I would stab you here, but there is nothing. As, uh, I'm going to instead aim for his head and perform an unarmed strike. Uh, with advantage, please. I think you got him. Yeah, I think 25. Got him, George. You Nine bludgeoning damage. damage. I'm just going to get him in the dome and then dump his body into the well. And he is super dead. George. Super dead. I gained more temporary health. <laughs> <laughs> but your death. That's really funny. I gained more temporary health. I think it replaces whatever you had. Yeah. I mean, it just says you gain. Temporary yeah, but I think you can only have one source of temp health at a time. Yeah, and you just keep temporary numbers. health five e. It's a weird system that. Is... Yeah, I don't like it. You can't like stack temp health on top of itself. I mean, I suppose that's because you can't abuse it. Because I know if you get yeah, have so you, you seen... can't just like, ah okay it. so yeah healing cannot restore temporary hit points and cannot be added together. If you so they say if you have something that gives you twelve temp health and ten temp health. You have a 10 or 12. Yeah, no. you can't stack it. Because I know you can get okay. sweaty with that stuff and stack it to the moon. Like, Micah does that stuff. She, uh, when we were at level 19 or 20 or whatever it was, abused the spell slots to the point of doing 1,000 damage with time stop mixed with meteor swarm. Yeah. It was insane. It was amazing to see happen, <laughs> though. Um, anyway. There is I'm going to go try to find Silverlin. <laughs> So you wander around the burnt city. Give me one more perception check. Uvaris, not Sil, please. Okay. Butterception. 14. So, George, even with everything going on, you can see in the ash that has already started collecting on the ground, uh, all of the footsteps that are generated through a panic. Some of them are visible. Uh, and you can see a lot of them going this way and out of Oxus. Um, there's a lot of them. Which way, sorry? This way. There are a few that went this way. And there... <laughs> but that's from where you're standing. All you can see. Do I see Silverwind? Uh, I like the idea of no. But I can't... What did he, what did he call out for Silverwind? Does Ovaris care that much about Silverwind right now? <laughs> I think so. I, th I think so. Uh, I'm going to just call out Silverwind! Uh, upon hearing this, I'm going to make my way back. And I see that the body is no longer next to the well. <laughs> and I say, He's dead? Quite. You don't see Biff anywhere? No. I do see several sets of footprints, however. Some are this way. Some are that way. Also, if I may be so bold... I'm going to raise my hands to him. <laughs> I and forgot you, you, you're you, still handcuffed. You see, him, you see him really struggle with this word. Please. <laughs> get these off of me. Sure thing. And I just unlock him. I love that you've been able to do that this whole time. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> it's just I haven't needed to. 
<laughs> he hasn't. He's been just as capable. I'm <laughs> fine. I really I'm fine. Arguably, considering last session, arguably more capable. Yeah, I was gonna. I'm gonna have to like cuff you behind the back if I want this to be effective from now on. Cause I he's realized... still got his head, dude. You're gonna need to put him in a neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> neck brace, ankle cuffs, hand You're gonna cuffs. Need to sink his head in cement. Just, just gonna have to uh, carbonate this guy. Honestly. So what are we doing? That's exactly what I'm going to ask Ovaris. I need to find Biff. Do you want to take a guess at which way he went? Hi, sorry, I am back. <laughs> Thea was Did coming down the steps. Thea was coming down the steps, so ah, I had to move the drywall aid. for her. What were you asking? Ovaris, have you ever spoken with an oracle? Would I have? I don't know, you're a soldier. But would you, do you think you ever would have? Sam, do you think he ever would have? We could put this up to just like a history check. Yeah, do that. No. Nah. <laughs> No. But considering the setting, you would know what an oracle is. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's like a priest or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sees picture. the future. Yeah. Talks to gods. All the fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, I just, just know. We never had time to consult such things. That might be for the best. Biff why, why has do you information... Have? about an oracle I very much would like to speak with. And I'd like to get that information, otherwise I came out here, and I gesture with my arms to the now burning empty city. I came out here for nothing, if, if not. So, I don't know where you're going, but I'd like to track Biff down. Well, I'm not sure if we will find Biff here, but our friend Sully Hondro did have this on him. As I pull up the small letter, it says, very briefly, Meet in Miletus. He will be in attendance. Your presence is mandatory. So unless your, unless your oracle is in the direct opposite direction of Miletus, I suppose that is our best lead. Without getting into names, is Miletus in the general direction of my home city? Broadly? Um, your home city, um, I will say Miletus is north. Your home city is way, way north. So, I would say if you were to walk from Oxus to Miletus to where you're going, at Miletus, you'd be about 15% of the way there. Sure. Why not? Miletus it is. Let's hope that either Biff is going to wander that way or I find someone else who has some idea of what I need. And I'll just start walking. Oops. Hang on. I'm adjusting I'll, uh, I'll follow along. <laughs> cool. And I'll just zoom north. Whoops. Trying to make a thing happen. I remember doing it yesterday. We're going to assume north. This may take a few minutes depending on the speed of my connection. Please wait. That is not big enough. <laughs> At all. Okay, we get rid of the pages. I don't like that. It's okay, we're just having a good time. George, do you remember how to make a handout? A what? You can make a handout so we don't lose that message in the chat. It's a very short message. It so, doesn't really matter, but... Yeah, it's it's in the journal where all the characters are. It literally just says, plus handout. I'm on the token layer. How do I adjust my layers? You can right-click you... on something and then send it to a different layer. 
so angry. The thing is, I would I would tell you, I do not know on the new Roll20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they did, like, just update it in between... The old uh, Roll20, I used to be able to, to tell you instantly. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's somewhere in the bottom left. Okay, I got it. And uh, now I can turn off the grid somehow. How does one turn off the grid? The grid. I've got the grid. 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 <laughs> How do I turn the grid off? Uh, you have to go into you... like the page settings. Yeah. The page settings you can turn the grid off, and then you can also just send something to the token layer, but that gets messy fast. What was the first thing you said to do? Page of settings. That's right, that's right. Um, where is it? It's in here somewhere, in here somewhere, grid. Off. Nice. Okay. This is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. So we're going to move from Oxus. To here. Okay. Please. We don't need the fire playing anymore the meechster has returned I swear to god if Sam takes another 30 minutes because he spilled his drink again no he's gonna pee on the cat on accident <laughs> we, we can't trust him to know where liquids go <laughs> <You're right. laughs> that's such a stupid joke I love it he had us each spend thirty dollars, and we never played it. Oh, yeah. Like three years ago, like when it came out on Steam, yeah. which was, if we I, check, I do own it. July twenty third, twenty twenty one. So yeah, there's DLC Just for the game. game, but it's oh yeah, there's DLC. Cool. I'm assuming we oh, kill. I these. own the DLC. That doesn't. No, me. I don't. No, you know what it must have been. I think the like super version of the game was on sale forever ago. Eh. Here, actually, we can I can check my purchase history and I'll tell you exactly when it was. You're gonna scroll through three years of purchases. Yeah. Three years of your purchases. I don't buy that much, homie. You impulse buy a lot of things. I believe <laughs> I do. you do. All right, let's see. Sam, I bought you XCOM 2? Yeah. It's a good game, you should play it. You told me to stream it, I said I would, and then I never Oh, did. no, here, here it is, here it is, I found it. On January 1st, 2023, I bought it for myself. Orcs Must Die 3 for $7.98. Okay, so it was like a super sale then. Then, I bought the DLC... For three dollars and eighty-two cents, and then I bought the game for both of you. So uh, I spent, I spent all that money, and we never played it. Well, that's okay then. That, Watch we're gonna play it, and it's gonna be like it just sucks. Oh no, dude! It's such a fun game. It's actually really fun. Uh, but I like orcs. I don't we'll, want to kill we'll them. Play it. I like orcs. We'll play I don't it. Like orcs. <laughs> Excuse it's me. It's a really fun, Did like, casual game. Oh. Like, it's not something that we need to, like... Like, obviously, the higher levels get really intense, but with the three of us, it should be very chill and laid back until eh. like, mid to late game. Eh, Hogwarts Anyways, Legacy Deluxe Edition is $21, but do I want to support J.K. Rowling? <laughs> no, buy a used copy. There you go. If you want to play it, buy a used copy, but otherwise... I don't know. I don't advocate for piracy. I could, alternatively, drop $40 However, on Sonic Forces. I bought you Sonic Forces. No, you didn't. Frontiers. I bought you Frontiers. <laughs> I was going to say, if you bought me Forces, I would have actively been mad. Nah, dude. I That's one of the few Sonic games that I've beaten all the way through. I'm so sorry for you. Have you played it? No, but I've heard nothing but bad things. Nah, like, more so game. than most Sonic games. I thought it was fine. I thought it was okay. 
And besides, you can get it for ten dollars on eBay. That's nine dollars too money. Yeah. Anyway, Sam. Yeah. Um. So you venture. Not to keep talking about nothing. Venture into the woods north, correct? Yeah. Okay. Woods. That uh, was where most of the footprints were headed, right? Or am I making that up? The majority was headed uh, never east, slimy west. But I, there were some going up north. Um, okay. The. Path... I didn't see the footprints, so I'm I'm laser focused on Melitas because it's north. So I'm gonna tell you something right now. Uh, now is when. I'm sort of like, okay, I've gotten out of where we were, and now we're we're going. New stuff. We're getting to where we're going, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. I'm a little bit more confident yeah. now that the session is 10 minutes from ending. Mm -hmm. um, I'm now into the new stuff. Uh, we'll give... Uh, roll me perception as you walk for about a half an hour uh, to try and find I'm great at those. I'm really, really Okay. Percepting. 15. Me. Wild. You follow a few of the uh, footprints tracks until you do eventually find Biff sitting along a pathway, hand, hand or head in his hands, uh, stressed out, <laughs> depressed, stressed and depressed. Stressed, I'm depressed. Just gonna, I'm gonna himself. throw my arms out and say, "Biff, glad you made it out." And he's just, he, what? Have you seen anyone else? No. Or is it just us? I haven't seen anybody. I don't even know where I'm just going. Gonna, I'm just going to plop down next to him. He goes, well... Salihandro and his goons burned the town down. Yes, they did. I have nothing. Maybe not. Alvaro, show him the note. I'm gonna pull out the note, just hand it to him. It's very short. And he kind of reads it, and he just is like, Why? What's the point? They won. Not well, they only yet. they only win if we let them keep breathing. And he's like, I don't have any reason to follow this. I have absolutely nothing. I had a town, and look what happened on my watch. You may not have a reason to follow it, but we do. Your reason can be as simple as revenge. However, if you give up here, let yourself brave the elements. I do not think you'll survive very long. You can come with us to Miletus or some other town, reinvent yourself, or you can give up. It matters not to me which one you choose. I know my path. I'm going to follow it. Let me persuasion. Uh, I know you're not trying to persuade him, but... I'm aware, but maybe he will... <laughs> oh, oh boy, let me roll persuasion. Can I give him a bardic? He's going to need it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... You will... <laughs> I'm going to hit knowledge of a past life. <laughs> and you'll get another d6 to add. So I'll add, I'll roll 2d6. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you okay, added. so that's a 17 at the 17 end of it. 17 overall. He agrees to follow you. Not with a lot of energy, but he agrees to follow you. He isn't going to die in the forest, which is important. Yeah. So he reluctantly gets up, dusts himself off, and begins to follow you. Mm -hmm. Not, he doesn't say As very we... much. As we walk, I'm going to broach the topic of our agreement. How? <laughs> so, like, remember when I asked you if you knew things? I kind of need to, like, have that, you know? 
my town was burned to the ground, but you're still here, and you're what I was looking for. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna try to get him chatting a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and essentially, I, my, I'm just sort of. Well, Biff, is there anything in particular you want to talk about on the walk? No. How far is it to Miletus? On by foot? I'm assuming it's not a short trip. Um, let's find out. The map. The map. The map. Okay, so one. Bro, I think the map needs to be put in jail. Why? He knew what he did. Okay. Uh, I'm glad we're beefing with the map now. It's a. Well, I've now, always been beefing with the map. You do. I've never much. liked them. You have to follow the coastline, so it's not as the crow flies. So it's probably about twenty-five miles. Twenty-five miles. Okay, that's I think doable. In. I don't know a why. Day if we brain... go quickly and don't stop at all. My brain just said twenty-five miles of beer on the wall. Twenty-five, 25 miles, miles of, beer. of beer. God, Dimitri. Yeah. I understand you're trying to get oracle information out of this man. Oh, I know I'm not gonna I know it's not gonna work right now. Well, I'm just trying we to can make a roll, seeds. right? We can make a yeah. roll. If you wanna mm -hmm. see if the seeds grow now. Mm-hmm. Uh, well I just don't know what As we talk roll. how I'm going to phrase it will essentially be Biff. I know you're not in the state to talk right now. But I do really need to find that oracle. And as far as I know, you're the only one who knows anything about where she went. Okay. Roll me persuasion with disadvantage. I can do that. So that'll be with my thingy. That'll be an 18. Well, 18 is the lowest I'm going to get with disadvantage. So I hate that you have something like that already. <laughs> I had to wait to level 10 for my thing. The roguish whatever, whatever. I hate yeah. bards. I hate bards. That's, that's a third level thing, man. That's ridiculous. That's I hate third bards. level. You know, you are a master I'm sick of bards. Saying... I'll tell you why. Fair, my entire Strahd party was all bards. Eight so bards. On the bright side, Sam, I'm useless in combat. It's not a bright side. Oh. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm the I am the sword. We are two halves of the same coin. Uh, that is cool. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't, for balancing purposes, I don't need hard information right now. No, I'll give you but, loose information. I, okay. I, I know I, I know how to how to pace it. I got about okay. fifteen to twenty sessions planned for you guys, going up to about level ten. So I'm not gotcha. planning a big saga like we're doing with some of the other mm -hmm. stuff. So I can run one of those. I just don't know if I want to do it in a Theros setting because it is mm -hmm. as cool as it is, it, like with the Greek stuff for us. Yeah. It's uh, also a little bit limited versus what mm -hmm. I can do with everything else. There's a lot more established yeah. lore in Theros that you have yeah. to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I, not like a whole brew campaign where it's like, uh, this happens. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I want to run a full saga with you guys like mm -hmm. several year campaign in favor not in yeah. like theros is a is a smaller thing for me mm -hmm. anyway still yeah. in the same lore as everything else i've ever dm'd but like you said it's mm -hmm. a different plane so nothing's gonna except yeah. gods like these gods yeah. would know of the other gods and could mm -hmm. a god did die in my campaign so that mm -hmm. might get brought up i don't know maybe um, Can't wait for the um, Spider Verse style session where Ovaris gets uh, warped I, into that party. <laughs> I have not. I'm not even kidding. I talked to them about it, and they were like, "If we could ever get everyone at the table, it would be great to just mm, mash." Everything. Just do a one shot where like the multiverse pulses or something, and you throw us against something really strong. I what I think would be that. really fun is like a team <laughs> scramble mm -hmm. of like suddenly everything has been ruined you know what? right something in the center of the multiverse breaks mm -hmm. 
and maybe not even we're all in the same place, but suddenly parties are mixed. Yeah, like so. Hell Vancing and Ovaris together. Oh, Hell Vancing uh, will immediately be killed. <laughs> I think I don't think you could put Hell Vance. I don't think you could put Hell Vancing in any other party without him instantly dying. The, the fact that Valentine hasn't killed him is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I I love that image we talked about of Valentine hates him and hates him and hates him, but the second he <laughs> dies, he can't sleep at night. <laughs> He's like, he's literally laying in his cot, because, you know, he's got, like, a little, like, thing he's got to carry on, and he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> just crying instead of sleeping. Just, I'm never going to hate anyone that much ever again. <laughs> it's so funny. What will I do now? Anyway, My hate we're magnet. We're, like, four minutes Sorry. from finishing. I don't know why we keep yeah. stalling out. Because we enjoy talking we are, with each other. We do. And also, we're all neurodivergent of some persuasion. <laughs> Broken so, brain, baby. You rolled persuasion. It rolled high. So it, the only way it won't roll high is if I if crit that fail. one. And even then, technically, it's, rules as written. <laughs> I I but listen. We'll 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 reevaluate that and if it no, happens. No, we will not. <laughs> one is a one. Yeah, no, I don't so care who you are or what. Mine, to... isn't it? I don't. I don't care what role. I don't care what table I'm at. I don't care what rules there ones are. are ones. If 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 you roll in that one, you fail. Ones I don't are ones. care. Ones are ones. Ones are ones. <laughs> if you roll a one, your your bonuses don't apply. So, all he says about the oracle is he says, "Well, I guess you're in luck." Miletus. Miletus. He says, the last I heard, Thassa's oracle was in Miletus. Wonderful. Fortuitous. Um, he doesn't say much. Is there anything That's specific right. either of you want to do on this journey to Miletus? Um. Hmm. I don't know. Just maybe see if we can pick up on any hints of any other footprints going this way. Because there were a couple, not just Biff's footprints, but he probably was one of the last to leave the city. That is correct. We don't even know what happened to Squirrely Handcuffs guy. He's out there somewhere. He's out there. He's probably dead. Oh, sorry, Squir Squirrely Shackles guy, my bad. Squirrely Shackles guy, Squirrely Handcuffs guy. <laughs> I don't know which one I like more. It's one of them. Um, so, the, um, roll me investigation. I'm really good at that. I've never failed that. Me too, or just him? Just, well, you two. I'll do a combined DC. I ain't helping much. Nah. 21 total. It was 24. So, I really ought to use my bardic inspiration more. We already rolled, but... Yeah, yeah. no, no real footprints. Not. I mean, by the time you start seeing more footprints, it's too far away to be able to really say if it's someone from that yeah. town. Um, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. You got Biff the Bay without. Um, hmm. One out of, like, 60 ain't bad. So are you doing <laughs> this in... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. We ain't passing with scores like that. Nah, those are pretty good odds. Um, Considering how we probably we probably killed a good chunk of that population, just like from a number standpoint. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so what I'm hearing is, if you were in that town, you had a one in ten chance of being killed by us, and a one in sixty chance of being saved by us. <laughs> yes. I hope that one guy, we saved that guy's wife. I hope he's okay. He's uh, the only other character we really I mean, met. we didn't we didn't check. <laughs> and I didn't check. A lot check. of people made it out. And I I hope so. I, I bought him alcohol and anyone I buy alcohol I want to live. That's true. But oh So well. um upon this travel, so it's a two-day walk if you take a break, and a one-day walk if you don't. 
what's the what's the um how you well i'm good you don't need to breathe i don't need to breathe you don't, you need, don't to need to sleep and magic can't put you to sleep i mean that's I you simply... can die for four hours to take a long rest <laughs> essentially just... <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm about to head out <laughs> He... But you're conscious the whole time. It's just uh, that's it's just a warforged, actually. Yeah. Honestly, it's just a. Re but... That's that's what we used for uh, the vampires. Mm-hmm. Um, Although now a... now Dompier is an official thing. I know. But that's like a which. Half did you know yeah. Count Chocula? Speaking of Dompier. Was. Speaking of Dompiers, did you know Count Chocula is inbred? Yeah, he's a cereal. It's all bread. That's the reaction I wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna bed. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Are we doing this in one day or two? Um, I, <laughs> I think, I think we take a long rest. I think we take a big sleep. Yeah, I think. I Not think we for me. I'm good. Years. I haven't taken any damage, but I can get my spell, my spell slots back, and I think Biff will need the rest. Yeah, I will take my my long rest because I I want my stuff back. Because I think Biff can still be useful. So you take a long rest. Of the... Now, normally I would have encounters on the way, but th mm -hmm. this is sort of like palate cleanse, right? So mm -hmm. you, your first day, you go until you can't. You rest. You wake up. The rest of the day, the next day, you spend getting to Miletus. Um, yeah, normally what I like to do, if it's like a long day, I'll do an encounter an hour. Uh, mm -hmm. And you can make like the travel into like half a session of goofy stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. We're palate cleansing. Mm -hmm. We're resetting. I feel like we're at the point where we can stop tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, at the gates of Miletus. Mm -hmm. Midday. I'll, I'll even set the time. It's you, two, and Biff at the gates of Miletus. Mm -hmm. Noon. 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 And cool. now, now I'm at where i wanted to be because mm -hmm. now i actually uh, the new story kind of picks up here this session to me felt a little bit scattered but it was just g g leave that there it was we had to get there we had this to was get, a transition yeah, session definitely a transition session but now i'm ready to run at least one a month 